All right then, my friends, so we're nearly done with this project, but there's just a couple more things I want to do. One of those is to make a custom 404 page because if we go to a route that doesn't exist at the minute, and by the way, I'm using localhost, not the deployed version, just to test this out. So let me go to a random route, doesn't exist, and we get this 404 page, which is all right, but it doesn't really fit in with the theme of the rest of the website. So I'd like to customize this. Now to do this in Next.js is really easy. We just have to go to the Pages folder, create a new file called 404.js and just create a component for the 404 page. So I'm gonna boilerplate this and instead of it being called 404, I'm gonna call it not found like so. And I can delete this import because I'm using a recent version. And then all I'm gonna do is give this a class name right here of not hyphen found. This is just so we can apply some styles to this later on. All right, so inside this, I'm gonna do an H1, and we'll say 404, and then under that we'll do an H2, and inside here we'll say oops, and then we'll say that page cannot be found with a little unhappy face, and then finally we'll just say redirecting because eventually what we're going to do is show this page for a few seconds and then just automatically redirect them in the browser to the home page again. So we'll say redirecting to and then we'll put this inside a link tag and the link is going to go to just the home page forward slash. So redirecting to home page and then after this for more Marmite goodness. So they're gonna see this message right here and they can click on the link if they don't want to wait. And if they do wait, after three seconds, what I'd like to do is redirect them to the homepage. Now we'll do that redirect in a minute, but first of all, I'd like to add in some styles. So we're gonna use styled JSX to do this. So style, like so, we need our JSX attribute. And let me just close this terminal to give us more room. Inside here, we need our curly braces and also our back ticks. And what I'll do is just copy these from my repo so you don't have to watch me type them out. We have some simple rules for the not found div right here. So a background of white, bit of padding, bit of box shadow, and also a transform, which is a rotate effect, similar to the home page right here where we rotate these things. So similar kind of effect. And then the H1, we give a font size of three M's just to increase it a little bit. So if I was to save this now and just go to any old route that doesn't exist, then we get an internal server error because we haven't imported a link, I think. Yep, so let's do that. Let's go over here and import link from next forward slash link, like so. Save it. And if I refresh now, hopefully, yep, we see the 404 page. So that kind of fits in with the whole theme of the website a little bit more. It's not gonna win any design awards, it doesn't look that good, but at least we have a simple 404 page that fits in. And if we click on this link, it should go back to the home page. Yep, it does, awesome. All right then, so let's do this redirect. Now to do this, we're gonna be using a couple of different hooks. We're gonna be using the use router hook because we we'll use a method on a router instance to redirect us. And also we're gonna be using the use effect hook. And that hook basically allows us to fire a function when this component first renders. Now, if you wanna learn more about use router and use effect, I've got a whole React playlist on this channel. So I'll leave a link to that down below. You can check that out. But let's just import those. So import, first of all, use effect, and that is gonna be from React. And then we also want use router, so import use router, and that is gonna be from, in our case, next forward slash router. Okay, so first of all, let's create an instance of the router. So const, call it router, set it equal to use router. So this, router object now is an instance of the router and we have a method on that to redirect a user. So we'll use that in a second. But first of all, let's set up the use effect hook. So remember, this fires a function when the component first renders. Now, as a second argument, I'm gonna pass in an empty array and that's the dependency array. So we're saying here no dependencies, so it's only ever gonna fire once when the component first renders. All right, so 
In this, I'm going to do a set timeout function, and the set timeout function is going to redirect the user after a certain amount of time, and the time is the second argument in this. So let's say 4,000, that means 4,000 milliseconds, or 4 seconds if you prefer. And inside here, we take our router instance that we have, and then we use a method on that called push, and we can push on a new route. Ours is just going to be forward slash for the homepage. So that means after four seconds, then it's going to redirect the user to the homepage. So if I go to some random route that doesn't exist, we get the 404 page. And if we wait four seconds, then hopefully, fingers crossed, it should redirect us and it does awesome. So this works. So the only thing left to do is to deploy this again. So let me go back to my other terminal. I'm going to add all these changes and then I'm going to do a commit and the message for this is going to be 404 and then I'm going to push them up to the main branch so git push origin main and once that has done it's going to trigger Vercel to do a new build and deploy we can see it right here queued if I refresh we should see it building and then once it's done we can click into this and we can visit this in a browser so now if we go to any old random route that doesn't exist we get the new 404 page that looks a lot better and then it should redirect us back to the home page awesome so there's one more thing i want to show you in this series and that is about web hooks on contentful and also deploy hooks with vercel so we'll talk about that next